This is ABS, Heartbeat of the East. Welcome to the third edition of the Excess Exhibition brought to you by Oka Museum Foundation. This is a group exhibition which is tagged with pairs. Let's take you through the vibrant world of art, thereby exploring latest exhibition opportunities that are pushing boundaries and of course redefining creativity. Well, this is the third. It would have been the fourth, but uh, because of COVID, we omitted a year. Um, what you have here are a group of exceptional female artists. As you know, really grew out of celebrating the International Year of Ladies. So we have, it's already, it's always an all-female cast. And from year to year, it keeps getting better. So today, so far, I would say this has been the best of the, third, the three. Well, uh, first of all, you, we need to know that uh, the woman is uh, uh, an art piece itself made by God, as distinct from the man. And that also has gone into their DNA. So for us, we find out that the young ladies have found themselves being very artistic. And whether as uh, uh, seamstresses, architects, painters, They've excelled and they keep excelling. And the good thing about it is that there is, all, there is this movement for, you know, a lot of ladies coming into the art space. Uh, I feel great. Like actually, this is my third time here. I've been at the first, I've been at the second, and I'm at the third currently. 
So uh, it's always a beautiful experience coming around here. Like you have artworks that appeal to you personally, that fascinates you, that you want to know what is behind the particular artwork. I'm, I'm really happy here today. It's actually like an all-female um, artwork exhibition. So what can you say, talk about, talking about women in art, do you think women actually pushing the boundaries and of course exploring their creativity in art? in recent times i'm talking about in this generation okay uh talking about this generation i think the most i've encountered here are young creatives and you know when you listen to them when you hear them talk explain their art to you you see that we still have hope for this generation because most times there are artworks you just see but you wouldn't know that there are you know encrypted messages that are inside these artworks is when you listen to these artists you know that there are depths to what their work really says than what just meets the eye. I think, you know, we still have hope for the generation when it comes to art. It's more like, like an analysis of this painting. And looking at this painting for me, I'm just seeing a young lady with a crown. For me, I'm seeing a queen who is actually adoring herself. And I'm seeing this like a land, more like just trying to, you know, occupy a certain place but i'm not i'm not an art person so i can't really judge based on my analysis so for you what can you analyze this is uh, about the artworks here this is like one of the artworks that appealed to me because same artist owns this and the one over there i've had to talk with the artist she had to explain bit by bit down to every detail here and i think i was not disappointed like having to see the art being attracted to this and having to hear her explain this it is wonderful. Like it is nice. This is my artwork titled Together We Are One. This artwork is actually made from paper and paint. So is I also use acrylic paint with the use of water, mixture of water and acrylic to make this painting. This painting is is titled We Together We Are One because I made this painting specifically for African African children to come together because if you check it right now African children right now they are not together specifically like South Africa Nigeria um, some certain African countries I make this painting for is a, it's a serious painting because from here from here to here from here to here but to show the togetherness if we come together we can actually dissolve the differences we have with each other so that we can actually make things together. So these uh, things here, yeah, these, these are different countries. Not I don't need it to be children, yeah, to just be specifically a children, but it is actually identifying countries, different countries. Like I said, it's identifying South Africa, Nigeria and all that. Just to show, to repair, you know, the differences which African countries have with each other and the rest of it. So this is my work. Okay, this is um, a young lady that is probably have been blaming others for her problems and now decided to change it to narrative by fixing her problems herself. And then I try to show this lamp is signifies inspiration, light, inspiration. And as she's trying to stitch, she first started with divine connection. And here I'm trying to say that we should reconnect with our maker. When you're trying to fix your problem, the first thing you should do is find out from God the templates of your life. When you discover your couples in life, you actually know how to navigate and you know, do what you want to do well. And that's what she first found out. And she's fixing the other areas of her life. And why doing this? There are some elements you should keep in place, very, very important, which is um, here praying, always keep connection with God, and give, be a giver, be a giver. Because they say, blessed is the hand that gives than the one that receives. So as you're trying to fix any challenge, be, be a giver, and be grateful, have a gratitude mind, a gratitude spirit, for everything that you are passed to be grateful for. If it's life, health, these are little things that God gave you and you should say thank you. So have a gratitude spirit while you're trying to fix yourself and then be optimistic. Very, very important. You can't, you can't come out of a challenge and you're thinking at the about the past. You have to think about the target, the future. 
And these are the elements she has to put in place. Why fixing these challenges? And if she's able to do this, eventually the result is this. I made it. Eventually she will make it. And she'll be a happy person. And then the trophy that she has been always aspiring to get, she will get it. And of course, the bag of money. <laughs> so that's it. Blues, lights, greens, they signify calmness and peace and also signify divinity. So this person is um, at the threshold. If you look at his expression, you know that he actually broke out of something. And I'm trying to say that there's this um, Bob Marley song that sings um, emancipate yourself from mental slavery. I love that side. So I use it to talk about this bed. Eman everybody needs emancipation. Freedom first starts from the mind. And then eventually if that bed, this could be that negativity, that um, whatever, it could, it, could, it could even be addiction, it could be whatever thing that held this person down. Once it's, once you, once you actually connect, I, I usually talk about divinity a lot because it's, it really goes a long way to work in someone's mind, spirit and soul. So the person is crying and praying out, praying and crying aloud. So the first of all is at the right spot, he's doing the right thing, you get. So environment matters, you don't get, you, you don't want to be out of um, a, a place and you're in that place, you want to be out, you have to step, make, take a step out. So he says that it encourages change, that is the colors, peaceful, calmness, you need to be in a very quiet environment to think and to heal. So he's in a quiet environment, in a place that even attracts divinity and the bed is out and then the freedom the chains are broken this work is titled better together and the title of this exhibition is repairs so a whole lot needs to be repaired but i drew emphasis on the nigerian economy because every time as day goes by our economy keeps going down the drain and it's more like we don't even have a solution to the problem so this work is an avenue that I use to say my own piece, like say what I think is a suggestion that we could use to work as a nation to help our economy grow better. So this lady here, she stands for Nigeria. She's putting on green, white, green. And her hair, I purposely placed them this way, scattered around the canvas because they stand for the cis geopolitical zones in Nigeria. So that's why you have these cis hair strands around it. So all these regions are from one source. Most times due to the division amongst us, the whole fight for tribalism and all that, we forget that we are one nation. No matter what you want to say, your Igbo, your Hausa, your Yoruba, you're still a Nigerian. So the fact that we are divided, we don't remember that we are one as a nation. And coming together, they said, when we are together, we achieve a lot. Together we stand and divided before. So when we are together, we have a whole lot to work on that will improve who we are and what we can produce as a nation. So when you look at her, you will see that I try to use eye-catchy stuff. I use lace fabric. I use I use um, this from jewelry. Exactly. So I wanted to actually show how rich we are as a nation. Nature, there are natural resources that we are endowed with. But we have all this and we are not achieving so much. You see people keep getting poorer by the day, finding it difficult to, to feed themselves and their family. So this work, this note that is here, have a reason why they are placed in this way exactly so on a normal day you cannot need naira notes but it was the idea i got the best way to actually depict working on the notes due to the mediums that i work with i'm a textile person i love working with fabrics and most times i pour out my ideas with color presentations and all that so you see a whole lot of green on this fabric green stands for productivity and i use these symbols here these are in symbol the ancient writing that we used to communicate in africa so and these symbols we are selected because they talk about productivity they talk, they talk about wealth, they talk about money you understand so the placement of this is a call for unity when you look at this note you're seeing the image of one person here you're seeing two persons, here there are four. Then these other places are areas where we need to work on as a nation. So the, the, the statement behind this is every individual from different status, from different tribes, should come together as a nation 
to work on their economy. And this note here is showing a guy toiling the soil. This is showing agriculture. We, there are a whole lot of things that we can produce based as a country. Different regions have different food, different things they can get soil from their land. So we need to go back to agriculture and look for a way to make Nigeria a country that work from production to final stage. From bringing, from refining the whole raw products. If we are able to do that, we will go a long way. Then this is showing art. This is Ladi Kwali, where she's doing a poetry work. Exactly. So this is art. We are very rich in art. We have a lot of talented artists and a whole lot of crafts that we need to build as a nation. Then this note here is just showing. Yeah, the hundred naira note is showing different cultures, the lady carrying um, something like calabash on her hair. So when I look at this note, it reminds me of Festac 77. So it was an event that was held in here in Nigeria that exactly. So imagine the kind of money that was generated from that program, from flight tickets to hotel reservations and travels, feeding and all that. So if we are to go back to that event and see how we were able to get how we our finances we, we got from there you will see that there was progress if this event is something that comes from time to time that is a way of true tourism that's a way of raising money for the nation so this work is kind of taking our minds to different angles that we need to work on that will help nigeria is not only endowed with petroleum so there are other things we can work with to grow the nation then I know you, you spoke about that this is the last time you, yeah. it's been long you saw this note. Okay. Um, I got this note from my dad. I still have a few of them. He saved them. So, yeah. so my idea about my works, I try to bring out some African stuff, history, put them together. Just like I, I use in simply designs. These are old, a lot of people young children don't know about them today. So I'm using my work to actually bring these things to their faces so that we will be aware of who we are. Ah, a lot of people go through stops, Nigerians, you go through a whole lot. So this work is a message of hope, courage, never give up. Because as you can see, for me personally, I believe that every individual is royalty. Whether you're a man or you're a woman, you're a king and you're a queen, there are things in you that you're blessed with, that makes you who you are, that gives you that awareness of being royalty. You understand? Most times I use females as my muse because I'm a woman, so it's easier for me to express myself with being a female, like showing it through my work, because most times I can't pierce into the emotions men go through because I'm not a man, I can only imagine. And so this is my word. It's easy for me to be able to express myself through my work. So this is a woman that have gone through a whole lot. A lot of heartbreaks, failure. But one thing about her is that she never gives up. This is a failure, but I need to build. So when you look at this diamond here, you'll see that this one is broken and she has the half of it. She's trying to refix her crown. Where she is now, she's trying to heal from a past mistake and she's almost done because her boots are on, her crown is almost ready. When she's done, she's ready to face the world. You know when we make mistakes, the, the ability to be able to have that courage, fight our fears, face the problem, then you see your errors, you know your mistake, and you're able to make those corrections. Making these corrections are very, very important because the knowledge you've learned, learning and relearning will help you to do better. It will help you to to um, handle your opportunities right, you understand? So, this is what the work is about. She's sitting, yeah, she's sitting by the window side. When one is sitting by the window side, what comes in? Air, breeze, freedom, you understand? Yeah, see, you know, I work with fabric, so I have to, like, be the best way I have to with my medium. So, when she's done with this, when she goes out, that breeze that she gets from the window side is the same that she'll get outside the world because they stand, that, that breeze, that air stands for the opportunities that are coming to her because she's a better person. It will be easier for her to work with those opportunities, use them right and do better. So she's a queen because she's able to face her fears. So this work is 
is a work to show courage to people. A whole lot of people go through a whole lot. So the work is telling them to not to give up. When you make a mistake, regain yourself, remind yourself of who you are, make your corrections and come back whole again. Rest in peace, dear old self. So I'm telling my old self to take a chill pill and rest that this new me has emerged and it's a better person. So I'm reminding my old self that, look, this new person is good enough. She's doing it. The things we planned together, I'm here now, I'm doing it. And we're planning more. But I feel like it's time to let you go. It's time you stay. Because most times when you hold on to your past, it draws you back. I've done the whole of the past, the self-reflection, the throwing back, it's enough. You know, we have to leave the past in the past so we can move on. It's okay to remember history, the things that have happened in the past, but we can't keep living there. We have to forge ahead and see what life has to Starting from today, right now, what can we do to make it better? No longer saying they've killed us, they've done, but we can do something from right now. So I feel like I'm done with this old time. I'm done with my past, my old friends, my old life. Come on now. What about right now? Let's begin to build a better you. Let's forge ahead and move on to a better future. So this is me saying rest in peace to my dear old self. I'm done with you. This is a new chapter. We draw the curtain on the third edition of the XX Art Exhibition brought to you by Oka Museum Foundation. And of course, like I said earlier, this is a group exhibition which is tagged with peers. And of course, we had lots of fun actually engaging with people, engaging with the artists. And don't forget, like I said, it's a female edition where all the females, all the artworks that you see were being made and produced by beautiful beautiful outstanding females well for what i saw lots of paintings and i can't even pick one as my favorite like I had, all of them are just my favorite because they're so beautiful so unique and made with the best of the best materials i am again thanks for watching <laughs> <laughs>